Hi, what's going on everyone? This is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. Today I'll teach you how to do a hand-drawn style animation in After Effects, just like this one. I'll show you how to apply the hand-drawn effect with just one layer to achieve this unique style, as well as how to apply the effects to different layers to gain more control. Feel free to download the working file in the description to follow along. Let's jump right in. To get started, let's first open After Effects. Let's go to the new composition. We can name this to Main Comp and then use 1920 by 1080 square pixels. Let's choose the frame rate to be 24 frames per second. Change the duration to 10 seconds. Click on OK. Let's import our graphic. Double click in the project area. Let's navigate to the assets, go to space. This is our graphic that we're animating. Over here, under import as, let's choose composition, retain layer sizes. Make sure you don't click on this Photoshop sequence. It's gonna give you some problem if you click on this one. Leave this unchecked. Click on open, make sure it's composition, retain layer sizes, click on OK. Let's create a new folder called assets. And then let's, let's put the two folders imported into asset folder. Double click on this, go to space. This is our graphic. I wanna copy all these layers, hold down shift, select all of them, command C for copy, and then go back to our main composition, which is our working space. Command V, paste it in. We can work on the figure first, double click in this composition. We have a guy that's jumping upward. We have all these body parts separated. I want to keep it simple, just want to animate the legs and the arms. First of all, I want to zoom in, command plus sign, zoom in. And then I want to, first of all, this is the right leg. I want to change the anchor point to the end of the right leg and then for the left leg I want to change the anchor point and then the arm I want to change the anchor point to at the end of the arm and then the left arm change the anchor point to here. Now what we can do is to animate the rotation property of these layers so select all four hold down R for rotation I want to set a keyframe for all of them so this is going to be our ending position Let's say if the animation is gonna take for 20 frames, command shift right arrow, go for 20 frames, move all these keyframes to the 20th frame. Over here you can see. And then first at zero second, I want these legs to be maybe something like this to be together. And then I want the arm to raise up and then on this arm to be like this. So when he jumps up, he's gonna form this position. But right now it's too slow. So if I right click keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then we have easing keyframe, go to the graph editor, fit the graph to view, use this button here, and then we need to, you know, drag this curve out and make sure we have a curve like this. By the way, we are in the value graph. So let's see what it looks like. So this is the animation we want. And then go back to the main composition. I just want this guy to jump up. So go to P for position property, right click, separate dimensions. Add a keyframe in the Y position. Maybe go forward 15 frames, one, two, three, four, five, 15 frames, and then this is the ending position. From the start, I want him to be out of the scene. I just wanna do an easy ease. So the shortcut for the easy ease is gonna be function key F9, you see that? And then go to the graph editor. This time I wanna use a speed graph. Fit the graph to view. I want him to jump, have a ease to the position, something like that. 
so the animation is pretty subtle. But right now I can't I can't see all the animation from the arms and legs. So from here, I want the arm and leg start moving maybe somewhere from here. So I need to go inside to this um, composition and then move all these keyframes maybe five frames further from zero second. And then I can go back to main composition. Let's see what it looks like. But now there is a stop, a pause. So that's not what I want. So go back again. I can drag this one out a little bit. Maybe put it at starting at two set, two frames. Yeah, that makes sense. The next thing we can do is to copy here, go to space. So we want to keep it simple. I can just do a scale change. Maybe go to scale, hit S on the keyboard, and then click the stopwatch for a keyframe, go forward 15 frames. I want this thing to start from zero. Right now our anchor point is at the center. That might make sense. Another thing is we can change this anchor point maybe somewhere around here on the bottom right corner. So when I scale this thing up, it's gonna scale from the bottom right. At zero second, I'll change it to zero. Select the two keyframes, function key F9, easy ease, and then go to the graph editor. We can drag the curves. This is gonna be the speed graph. Drag a curve like this so that there's a lot of speed. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to just have these little elements moving down while our guy is jumping up. So basically select the two and then hit P on the keyboard, separate dimensions, and then click on the stopwatch on the Y position, move it out to 15th frame. At the beginning, I want them to be all out of the scene, all the way up there. And then I want them to slowly coming down. Function key F9 for the easing. And then I want to modify the graph editor. Select the graph here. And then drag a curve out like this. Extreme easing. And also I want to cut maybe the layer at two seconds, I mean, I don't see the first two frames of the animation. So as if the animants are just magically appearing on the screen. I wanna cut both layers at five seconds. For the copy, I don't want the copy to show when it's pretty small. So maybe I wanna cut it here as well for the copy. I don't want to see the copy as this small. It's kind of bothering. So I wanna cut this layer maybe around seven frames. Option left square bracket. Yeah, that works for me. The next thing I want to do is I want to give this guy, little figure, a wiggle effect. Let's go to effects and presets. If you don't have it on the right hand side, you can go to windows and then choose effects and presets. Let's try a wiggle position. Let's select this figure layer and then double click on this wiggle position. Maybe give this guy a wiggle speed of three and then amount to 10. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I just want this guy to slightly like, you know, floating in the air. That's good. Command S for saving. And then the next thing we wanna do is to create a adjustment layer. Go to layer new, adjustment layer. This is gonna be our hand hand-drawn layer. So for the hand-drawn layer, what we need is a turbulence displace effect. With the hand-drawn layer selected, we can double click on this turbulence displace. It's gonna displace our whole scene here. And you can see right now it's pretty distorted, but that's not what we want. We want to change the amount, maybe change the amount to four to give it a little bit of distortion, not that much, and the size to maybe 80. Complexity, let's change it to four. 
If you want to see what it looks like, we can go down to the evolution options. And then if I modify the random seed, let's go to this random seed option and then hold down option, click on the stopwatch. We can add a expression. For here, let's add a time times expression, time times four, semicolon. So it's going to give our random seed a continuing changing expression. That actually looks pretty good. So our random seed is constantly changing. So that's why the turbulence displays is actually animating. Another thing, if you want, we can do a posterized effect. Right now we got 24 frames per second. For hand dry animation, normally it wouldn't be 24 frames per second. It would be probably like 12 frames per second, something like that. So if we change it, if we use a posterized time effect, let's change the frame rate to six frames per second. It's gonna give us a very slow frame rate. So it's basically having a more hand-drawn look. Or maybe it's too much. Let's change it to 10. Yeah, I think 10 or 12 might work. This is actually the easy way to do it, to add a adjustment layer to control all the layers underneath it. Another way we can do it is we can copy the turbulence displays effects and then we can individually apply to these different layers. Let's say if we turn off this hand-drawn layer and then we can apply the turbulence displays into the figure. Now we can individually control the setting of this turbulence displays and have a different kind of hand-drawn pace or hand-drawn style between the figure or the text or the small elements at the back. So it's just gonna give us more control and uh, more possibility. I like how this is looking right now. The last thing I want to do, maybe I want to animate the bird and the rocket a little bit in the scene to give it more stylized look. Something like that, I think that works and command S for saving the project. The last thing I want to do, and I also want to show you is to add a noise texture overlay. Let's double click in the project panel. Let's go to assets, and then we can go to the noise texture, click on open. What we can do is let's create a new composition called noise loop. Within the noise loop, let's go in put in the noise texture. All we need to do is go to rotation, hit on the stopwatch to add a keyframe, and then go forward five frames, command right arrow, one, two, three, four, five, change the rotation a little bit, and then one, two, three, four, five, change the rotation again. You can do it randomly, and then go to five frames further, one, two, three, four, five, change it again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have all these different rotations and then we can select all of them, right click, toggle hold keyframes. We have a pattern that's animating in a stop motion. The next thing I wanna do is I want to hold down option on the keyboard and then click on the stopwatch, left click. I wanna add in a loop out expression. Now, if I play the animation, you can see from one second, it's just gonna loop my animation for the first second and then keep playing my animation throughout the whole 10 second. Now I have a texture loop. We can drop this texture JPEG into our asset and then we can create another folder in the project panel. We can call this one a pre-comp. So we can drop the loop noise into the pre-comp and then even this go to space into the pre-comp. And another thing we can create is we can create a folder called render and we can drop 
this main comp into the render. So that's going to be our final animation. Now we have our main composition, main comp under render. So let's go back to main comp and then we can put in the noise loop inside our main comp and then set the mode to screen. Let's take a look. If you take a closer look, we get this noise effect overlaid on top of our animation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We will be publishing more After Effects tutorials like this every single week. In addition, we also have a free exclusive community where motion designers hang out and learn from each other. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive community. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.